All right, so let me show you what the router do now, see? So we can get this thing on. This is a different machine from what's playing the music. The rotor, the rotor is a next rotor. So I go on the computer here and I would see there so next rotor. I would connect to it wirelessly. So it's currently connected to it now. There's a software here. So this one DBX Venom 360. When I open this software here, it's gonna check. Check for anything on the on the on the network. The two rotor is plugged into the network. So if you notice here, it says there's two of them there, is it? Um 100 and 101. So let's connect to one and see. So I'm gonna click connect here, and this is the drive, this is the drive rack um software. This is basically the management of the system. This have your equalizer, your crossover, everything, everything it has, everything. Let's let's let me try to give you a quick idea of this or my own setup. Okay? You can do it in any way you want. So I have input here, two input. This two input is right and left input going in as one so basically it has two input for right and left but these two input is really one channel one signal going in both of them for the same side because like i said i use one of the drive work for one side of the system so for instance this these two coming in here is left side. You understand? These two coming in here is left side. And then the, 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 the input tree would be the bass. So you can turn turn on the bass, turn up the bass, you know, differently from interfering with the tops. On the input here so you have let's click this here. Configure. You have EQ when you click EQ, you can change the EQ to whatever you want. You have an automatic gain control. You have backline delay. You have a compressor. You have graphic equalizer, parametric equalizer, and you have sub. Subharmonic assist. Right? So you can change, you can put anything in the line that you want. Right? In this line, in the in these line here, so I have the um I have the nice gate. I have the nice gate here. So that would have to kinda of cut down the you know if there's any farmer. If there's any signal lower than a certain amount of of input, it, it closed the gate. So you wouldn't get any any humming, any feedback, anything. Because where the amplifiers just plug up to the drive rack, trust me, it's total silent. No matter how you turn the amplifiers up, once there's no signal going into the drive rack, there's no sound coming out of the amplifiers. So if you have a maybe you have a mix or something that's you know probably humming or doing some funny sound thing, the nice gate would have cut that out. That big gate. Anyway. Will it more options just the same over here, so all right. Um, let me see. You can you can add anything you want. Basically, that's it. Any channel, this top channel here, so this top channel here, so is my um, Twitter, right? This is my Twitter channel, and the one that I light it up, these ones here, is what I have enabled. You understand? All right. So let me show you, um, so for instance, the crossover. If you click on crossover, this is what the crossover looks like. And you know, you know, by your, your thing, you know, so this side is normally the highs. If you notice, this is where the highs are. 
for the tweeter. This is really tweeter section. This is the this is the frequency that it's set at. So that's a good that's a good setting right here. Um, what I like with this drive rocket you can you can, um, you can select any channel to play anything you want. You understand? You can select any channel. To play bass, play mid, play tweeter, play main, anything you want out of that channel, you can select that channel and just turn that channel into whatever you want. Right? And another thing is that you can also, you can also, it has 100 slots for saving. Um, saving your your settings you can have 100 different settings and you can also um, export settings you can export settings from the computer to a flash drive you know bring it somewhere else put it on a different drive rack you understand that is good so you can you can have a good settings here I have a settings this one here this one is good then I did some more you know additional tweaking and I save it again I did some additional tweaking again and I save it again so you know you can always recall any one of these settings you want at any time you can just you can store you can recall you can rename you can delete and you can also save to the to the computer as a file and, and also export that right um, Is it? Oh, I should show you There's something else I don't remember that thing. Anyway. But yeah, man, this this is this are the bars right now. DBX Venom 360. So with this now, the music can be playing. Let me let me play a song. Alright, so that, that music is playing, DJ's up there playing everything. And I am sitting backstage or sitting having a drink with this laptop. I can go through. I can um I can mute. So notice the sound is changing. See it? So basically everything mute. I can unmute. I can turn volumes up or down. Add a little bit more EQ. I can, I can do everything tuning wise right here while the DJ is still here. And the good thing about it is this: there's no wire connection. This is all done wirelessly. You can even do this on your tablet or your or your cell phone. have a, a first set of input this is three individual line coming in I use one and two input the high if you notice one and two coming to the, the input channel here and it goes together as one and this one and two goes into A and B and goes to my output as in output one it feed output one, output two, output three. It feed everything but the base channel. The base channel is independent by itself. Let me let me click on that. The base input is this one, C. So if you notice C by itself to the output. 